Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. In the last uh, tutorial, I discussed uh, the flight planning in details using the Navigrav charts and the uh, scene brief. For those who didn't watch the video, you will find uh, a link to that uh, tutorial at the end screen of this video. In today's video, I will cover the PMDG 747-400 FMC pre-flight. Without further ado, let's get started. Now I'm gonna start the FMC pre-flight. And as you can see here, I'm in the menu page. I will start first loading the fuel and payload using the FS Actions feature. I will start first with the payload. Now to do so, the easiest way is to enter the planned zero fuel weight here and let the passengers and cargo loading details to be managed by the FMC loading feature. Now I will open the OFP PDF file where I'm gonna pick some figures for my FMC pre-flight. Starting with the zero fuel weight. My estimated zero fuel weight is 488,848 pounds. Now I need to put this in thousand units and if I convert 488,848 pounds to thousands, it will be 488.8. I will put this in the zero fuel weight line select. Now I hit return line select key to go back to the FS actions menu. I select fuel. Now I need to put my block fuel in the total line select. Now I go back to my OFP and look for the block fuel. I scroll down and find my planned fuel. Here it is. Now I will highlight the alternate fuel and the final reserve. I will need this later on for the performance initialization. And this is the block fuel that I need to load in my tanks. 142,782 pounds. Now I will put 142,782 pounds block fuel in total line select. And I can confirm that my block fuel is being loaded, as you can see here, on the primary ICAS display. Now I hit menu key to go back to the FMC menu and select FMC. This will take me by default to the IDEN page where the FMC preflight is normally started. So starting my FMC preflight with the IDEN page, I will cross check the model and engines rating with my OFP documents. Here the model is Boeing 747-400 and the engine's rating is RB211-524G. And on the OFP document, page 1, you can see here the model and the engine's rating are respectively Boeing 747-400, rb 211 524G. That's correct. Here your current ARAC cycle will expire in 25th March 2021. And today we are 26th February 2021 and it's still valid. Now I select pause init page. Now keep in mind that if you are using the real time IRS alignment, you need to complete this step as soon as you power up the system. Now I'm gonna enter the departure airport identifier for position reference CYHZ. Then I put this in ref airport line select. Then I copy the GPS position to the set IRS pause line select. Pause init page is complete. Now I move to the next step by selecting route. Starting with origin, I put here my departure airport, which is CYHZ. And my destination is CYVR. Now, if you remember in my last video, when I created my PMDG 747 FMC root format with SimBrief downloader, the file name was CYHZ CYVR, which is already stored in my FMC. Now, if I enter this in CO root line select, this will instantly load the whole route to the FMC route 
and no need for a manual root programming. After entering the CO root name, I hit activate line select key, then execute. Then I can put the flight number shown in my OFP document, which is ABC123. Now I can step through the root page to check if it's set properly. Now to complete my route, I need to add the departure and arrival procedures. Using my Navigraph charts, if I click on type route, I get this window where my complete route is edited in text format. And you can see here my departure runway is 32 followed by CYHZ4 seed. And for the arrival, Canuck 5 is my star followed by ILS 26 left approach. Now I will put this in my FMC. Now I go back to my FMC and select departure arrival function. This will take me directly to the departure page as you can see here. Here I'm gonna select first the runway which is 32. I select CYHZ4 from the seeds, then execute. Now to go to the arrival page, I select index, then I select CYVR arrival. From the stars list, I select Canuck 5, 26 left. Then I select ILS 26 left, then execute. Now I go back to my route and step through the pages. My departure is from the runway 32 via CYHZ4 seed. I check for any discontinuity. My arrival Canuck 526 left is there. All looks good. Now I go to the performance initialization. I click on zero fuel weight line select key to edit my current zero fuel weight in the scratch pad. Then another click to copy this to the ZFW or zero fuel weight line select. Now to get the fuel reserve, I will add the alternate fuel amount to the final reserve fuel. This will be approximately 19,200 pounds. In thousand units, this will be 19.2. Now I will put 19.2 in reserves line select. Now according to my OFP sheet, the cost index is 56. The initial flight level is 360, followed by a step altitude of flight level 380. This means that the step size will be 2000. So I will put 56 in cost index line select, 360 for the initial cruise altitude, and 2000 for the step size. And this complete the perf init page. Now I will step to the thrust limit page. Now before I select the N1 limits, I need first to analyze this using a free tool called Utopia version 1.3. You can download this for free and you will find a link in the description box and it's very easy to use. I click on Utopia to run the application and you get this window opened. From the aircraft's list, I will select PMDG 747400. Then I select the units for the weight calculations. And if the engine NEIs will be used, check this box. Now I need to fill up the airfield and weather data by clicking on this icon. This will automatically do the job for me. The only thing I need to check is the departure runway. Sometimes it's not the correct one. Like in this case, I will select the correct runway, which is 32 instead of 05. Now the last step is to put the takeoff weight here. Let me find my takeoff weight. Here it is, 629,630 pounds. Now I will put this uh, in the takeoff weight field. Now I hit get takeoff performance data icon to analyze the takeoff performance. 
and you can see here it gives me the flap and durate required 10 degrees flap and 59 celsius assumed temperature and this all what i need to complete the thrust limit fmc page and if you remember 56 celsius was my assumed temperature i will put this in sel line select and for the climb thrust i will select climb one all set for the thrust limit page now i will move to the takeoff page and if you remember the takeoff flaps was 10 degrees i put 10 for the flaps and i leave the acceleration height as it is and the fmc has calculated the takeoff speeds for me i just have to confirm this by clicking their respective keys now the first click on trim cg line select key will edit the cg on the scratch pad the second click will copy this from the scratch pad to the cg dashed field now the fmc will compute the takeoff trim and display it here here you go my takeoff trim is plus six units now the last thing i want to do to complete the fmc preflight is selecting progress page here I'm gonna cross check the FMC calculated trip distance with the one my OFP got. Here the total trip distance is 2416 miles. And here on my OFP the ground distance is 2416. And they're exactly the same. Perfect. And this complete the PMDG 747 FMC preflight. Thank you for watching and see you in the next tutorial.